Thank you. So <clears throat> this will be a repeat of the previous talk because it's about the uh, LoRa gateway. It's courtesy of uh, Gregor, again, as a hardware master. He's uh, also my father-in-law, so I didn't have any choice there. Uh, so basically I've been interested in LoRa for one year. The problem is that uh, the gateways are quite expensive and uh, we, a, a couple of us have ordered uh, the Kickstarter gateway but we are still waiting and I am an impatient guy so I decided to w let's build one and I look, uh, look it up on the internet and see there are a lot of how to do. I talked to Gregor, can't we do this? Yes. You buy the uh, components, I will build it. And that's what we did. Uh, I, I know that you wrote uh, the talk was how to build the uh, LoRa Obang get gateway, but that's not really the most important uh, thing. It's why. And for me, except for being impatient, it's also uh, what TTN uh, is. It's an open network that makes it easier for all the makers and innovators to actually make a product and service that works. Not only in Stockholm, but in Singapore and in Amsterdam and in Chicago. And that's something that if you have done these type of projects that are not just testing something and making a pilot, but actually making something that works and that can be spread, it's really, really interesting with the TTN network, the Things Network. The other thing is that uh, if you make something, you have an, a market potential that's much, much larger than Ume or Gothenburg, which also have LoRaWAN networks. Uh, and Stockholm, you have the whole world. And it's not just the hardware, it's also the software. Because uh, if you make so, uh, a sensor, it doesn't make very much sense if it doesn't have some kind of service connected to it. And then you can use the same app, the same code, wherever you are. And that's something that's really, really important. Well, we'd be talking about the technical uh, things about LoRa. So, what we did was think, okay, what should we do? And we thought, well, test and show, that's nice, because then you show that it works and uh, we can test out uh, the TTN. But it's not only interesting to test. If you really uh, want to have something that could be used by others, we have to build the TTN network in Stockholm. And uh, that's what we are trying right now, in this moment. So if there is anybody out there with a LoRa gateway, connect it to the TTN network, then we can uh, start to building something together. Uh, the gateway that we built, I put on the roof in, in the center of Stockholm, where I live, uh, just behind Olens. So there is one gateway there, and I know there is one in Vasastan and uh, in Södermalm. And it's a really easy way to get a good coverage. Then that's nice uh, to have the network, but it's also important to uh, uh, involve others like Stockholm Stad uh, uh, and other uh, stakeholders that actually uh, promote this and help us to actually get those antennas high up because that's needed. So what we did we do? Well, we tested and showed, so we tried uh, multi-channel LoRa sensors because with the boat project, it was single channel. And we tested the radio coverage, same experience. Uh, we tried out TTN in practice. Basically, TTN helps you with the hard stuff, getting uh, the signal from the sensor to the backbone and getting it out so you can use it. Uh, build the Stockholm TTN, well, we need more nodes and more people involved. We need pilots and showcase. I'm just going to talk about two of them that we made. And we actually need to interest makers and innovators because now there is actually a possibility to make something that other people can uh, build upon. And the last step that uh, we also have to do then is involve others and stakeholders. So I talked about Stockholm Stad. They have the connected garbage cans. Laura is a super uh, showcase for that. Uh, there is something called e IoT Sweden that is a lot of Vinova money out there that's up for grabs. And uh, there are a lot of uh, property owners like Vasakrunan that actually owns the houses that we want to get our antennas up on. So we should involve them too. 
When it comes to details, what we did, we built the gateway, 300 euros. The sensors cost between 15 and 20 euros, depending on what we equip them with. Uh, if you want to build the gateway uh, by yourself, here is the link. It's actually simple. Uh, Gregor told me it was the first time he built something and it worked from the first time. No tweaks. And the last thing, uh, coverage in the city, antennas placing is uh, the most crucial thing to getting it up high. So I am living like 100 meters and looking at the her toy scarper every day. That's my dream. Uh, just one last thing. This is the gateway. This is uh, the sensor that we actually make uh, made for testing. It's also measure. It's solar powered, so it measures the sun and temperature. So I use it to see, okay, how much sun do I have on my terrace, really? And that's a, a nice way of just you know getting to know that. Greg, uh, who's living and uh, in, in a large uh, apartment complex, he actually put his LoRa sensor and connected to the heat water. And uh, they had problem with the heat exchanger because they saw that there were constantly drops in temperature. And by using this LoRa uh, sensor, they could see that there was a wall that was uh, letting cold water into the warm heating system. And that in that way, they solved the problem. Thank you.